What is up guys, Brad Moore here bringing you guys another Pokemon Oros related video. Um, this here is basically just a video I wanted to do this to tell everybody my opinions. Everybody's been um, up in arms about this. Um, Smogon actually deciding to suspect test Hoopa Unbound. So I would like to give you guys my opinions on this as well. Um, before this video does start, please drop a like down below. And also, if you are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a, a lot as a content creator and gives you guys some very good content as well. Um, also, a few things before uh, I do get into this. Um, I will uh, be tweeting out um, for some Pokemon Little Cup battles. Uh, they will be on the channel in the next few weeks here. So I'm assuming maybe starting next week or the week after, I will be on Twitter um, tweeting, tweeting out for Little Cup battles. So if you do want to be involved in a, in a battle and be featured on the channel possibly, um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, at Brad Mew. I will leave the link to that in the, in the description. So if you guys do want to be in a battle, hit me up on there um, when I do tweet out looking for Little Cup battles. Um, other than that though, um, also one more thing. Um, as of right now, there will be no OBA match for this week. My opponent, a C, uh, uh, shit, um, Sneaky, a Selgor, um, his 3DS actually is broken. So um, I'm actually getting a forfeit win right now. So um, there is a possibility we'll still be going to playoffs. Um, it all depends if the person in front of me actually loses his match this week. Um, I think he has to get better than a 5-0 victory to at least ensure himself playoffs. Because right now he's at a minus 3 um, differential, so, um, I think he, ain't, wait, no, he is, uh, I think he's eight and six, so I think he needs to, um, I'm pretty sure he needs to lose this week, or something like that, I have to take a look at the, uh, I need to take another look at the, uh, standings, but right now, we are at a 1-0, um, for this week, um, putting us at eight and, uh, seven, so I think, um, so it all depends if the opponent in front of me actually ends up winning or losing, determines when we go to playoffs. Um, other than that, though, um, uh, if he does get a new DS by the end of the week, we'll, we will still have our battle. So this may be only temporary, but if he does not, then it's going to be 1-0 in our victory um, in our favor. Um, so at least, at least we come out with a decent differential. Uh, we made it out. Uh, we got two forfeit wins the last two weeks, but... Um, as for this, uh, Hoopa Unbound actually being suspect tested by Smogun. Um, there's a big ass paragraph here, um, wrote by wrote by one of the um, OU Tiering Council members. Um, OU Tiering Council decided to test Hoopa Unbound this round. It's incredible offensive stats and extremely spammable stab, and access to a diverse physical and special move pool. Hoopa has risen to become a dominant force in the metagame since its release last year. Hoopa in the first time move pool can viably run physical, special, and mixed sets, making it even more difficult to switch into when it hasn't been revealed. Hoopa can even access to extremely dark, um, powerful dark move, Hyperspace Fury, allowing it to hit through Protect and Substitute. Um, this thing is actually a very, very big threat. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of OU um, on the ladder. Um, the only thing that really hinders it is it's four times weakness to bug. So any U-turners like Landris T with U-turn, um, Tornadus T with U-turn, just um, Mega Scissor with U-turn, um, X Scissor completely destroys it. Um, uh, it has decent defense, but it, that four times weakness to bug and uh, U-turn being a very, very common um, move run on a lot of mons really is what hinders it mostly from being it moved to Ubers completely. Um, otherwise, it's a complete monster. It's one of those wall breakers that you cannot really prepare for. Um, it's either running special or physical. Um, I really th feel like it's um, something in the metagame that really needs to... Uh, it has a few drawbacks, but the drawbacks really ain't enough. Um, but once you do find out its moveset, you can kind of play around it. But sometimes it can be a little bit too late because you switch into defensive mod and it ends up being a specially offensive Hoopa Unbound, and there goes your physical wall. So... Um, thanks to its stats and move pool, Hoopa has virtually no safe switch in. Hoopa is more capable of nailing common dark resist, such as Clefable Keldeo, moving them th from the picture with appropriate moves. Incredibly bulky, a bulky mons, like Powered on Mega Scissor, Assault Vest, Tornadus T, unable to switch into Hoopa due to its, its sheer power. Even Pokemon like Clefkey and Mandibuzz, which shrug it off, both of Hoopa's stab attack can take two hits from the appropriate coverage. Um, that and a lot of people like to run a choice scarf or choice bandit or choice specs. Depends whatever you want to run. It really hits like a truck then. Basically, it two shots at almost everything um, if you don't own speed. So, um, common Pokemon can shrug it off. 
on the physical end, such as Garchomp, Landris T, and Arcane Bolt have taken repeated hits, making them more of one type of switch in. Tupa is more often seen running Dark Pulse, thus making Garchomp and Landris West Wary, switching in to choice packs such as Life Orb, Dark Pulse. Hoopa, commonly run nowadays as choice specs, special Hoopa and physical Hoopa, nailing special bulky Pokemon with Psy Shock, blah blah blah. Not going to go through all this, but you guys kind of do get the point. Um, playing a huge disadvantage, some fatal flaws, it's poor speed tier, like I said, and such frail on the physical end makes it highly susceptible to many attacks. A physical end, U-turn, big and opposing issue. Free switch ins, pursuit years, just like Tyran Tyrantar and Weavile really do shut it down as well. Um, Scarfers shut it down as well, Banders. Um, a lot of other stuff about it. they can play around um, the pursuit and stuff like that. So, Smogon officially uh, suspect texting uh, Hoopa Unbound. Um, in my opinion, I really think it could be a little bit overpowered, but the, I, but the four times weakness to bug really, really does shut it down. Um, that and once it does reveal its moves, that you can play around it decently well, in my opinion. I'm not quite sure if it should go to Ubers, but if it does get sent to Ubers, um, then it just gets sent there, I guess. But um, I'm mostly neutral on this. I really don't care if it goes to Ubers or if it stays in OU, in my opinion. Um, you can deal with it some ways, but um, if it goes to Ubers, then I guess it goes to Ubers, in my opinion. I really don't care. Um, I never really use it too much anyways. Um, I'm usually the only one that's going against it. Um, unlucky me, but... Um, tell me your, your guys' opinions in the comments below. Um, do you think Hoopa Unbound should be sent to Ubers um, and actually banned? Um, or um, should it stay in OU? Um, maybe they can ban Hyperspace Fury. I don't know if that will do anything, but <laughs> just, a, just a thought. But um, Other than that, though, hope you guys did enjoy this. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you are new. And also, hit that like button as well if you did enjoy this video. Really, really appreciate it. Um, like I said before, um, I will be looking for a little cup battles in the next few weeks on my Twitter, so be sure to follow me down in the link below. Um, I'll be tweeting out for little cup battles, and you guys will be featured on the channel. Going to be try recording them, um, actually live as well, so they actually will be live commentated. So, other than that though, I'm gonna get out of here. See you guys next time. Peace.